Hi guys, today I want to talk about what happened in that crash video that you guys saw. So what you didn't see was in the previous flight, I was um, you you usually start flying this way with the um, with the props pointing upwards, and so it come up, and then um, in mid air, I flipped the switch so that it would go this way. So then I was flying it as a plane. However not being very experienced as this is flying through the air um, I couldn't figure out how to switch off the, the motors as it was coming down towards the ground and so uh, I didn't flip the switch quickly enough so this was not able to turn up here for a nice soft landing and instead the uh, blade was pointed this way and so when it did push this all the way down here snapping this piece off you can see right there and then since this one did not turn off either it lost its um, blade so my conclusion is if you are not um, experienced with this kind of drone here you probably should get two instead of one or you should just hold off buying this uh, because it's not really that straightforward, and I'll show you what happens here with the remote. So, you have these three modes. And so, while you're flying and you, you flip the switch into the plane mode, where the rotor is going like this, then right before crash landing, you should switch it immediately so that it will stop this from braking but it's it's hard to remember to do because especially if you're used to flying um, planes or remote control cars or even drones you don't really think about that and so you got to practice that a lot before you actually fly this thing and so yeah those are my final thoughts so far i'll have more on this plane and i may have to find a replacement for this part or i may um use these these motors because they're still good everything's still good just that part here broke and repurpose um, this plane to do something else so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you soon